Hello and welcome, and today I will be showing you all of the money making methods to prepare yourself for the update. And yes, I know, I have done this in small bits before, but not entirely, so this is the entire thing, from beginner to end. I hope you enjoy and consider subscribing, and of course pointing out my mistakes in the comments, because you all love to do that. Oh, by the way, I'll leave these tiny images on the screen so you know if you need to be beginner, mid game, or end game, or somewhere between that. Alright, for the very first method, the best way is to collect Boomba mushrooms in the pits. I will now show you from Topple Town how to get there. You want to line up near the gnome, gnome um, town place and go precisely to southeast, a bit, a bit more to the east, and just fly over there. Oh no, wait, you're a beginner, of course, you cannot fly. Um, we'll just, just walk over there, why not? Just follow this cute little rock. Go over that thing. The lake. And to keep following the southeast. And yes, as a beginner you should be a lot slower, but this is very helpful to show. That's why I'm a lot faster. It's easier to show you how to do stuff. Let me turn off my shaders so it's a bit more clear. And when you've reached this pink door, you need to follow this path right here. Because it's a bit difficult to get up that area there. You see that area? It's a bit difficult to get up since it's very high and very uh, unstable terrain. Also, this is one of the more dangerous ones, so if you die, just know that it is quite uh, possible to die often. It's just a risk for a lot of money. And then, when you, you're around here, let me turn off the spider still so I jump the same height. I will. Okay, that's not the place. I'm gonna continue. I need to speed up a bit. Um, I don't, I don't like you. Come on, let me take care of this guy. I might. Oh uh, boy. This man. Pain in the ass. There we go. I'm in a public server, by the way, so that's why it might run a bit slower moment I have let me just put it put it on so I can walk quicker when you find I, yeah that's the area we come just across yeah that this place the, these rocks you have this little part that goes up I'll take it off just so I can show you then you can go up slowly walk up walk up continue walking up and they're on top of this thing now, you want to be very careful to where you go down, because this can go south very quickly. Uh, when you're around here, you might spot some already. I do not yet. It's a bit unfortunate, I'm very unlucky today. There should be a bunch and bunch of boomer mushrooms right here, but it, there's not. You never want to cross this barrier from this tree to that side, just don't cross it. There's no need, there's not too many spawns there. But uh, it probably is something to do that I'm in a public server and, I don't know, some stuff is glitched or whatever. It's fantastic when everything glitches. Um, but in this area from around this tree to there, to this little corner, and that tree. There are a bunch of boom mushrooms that normally spawn. And when you finally have a few, when, when you just don't feel safe anymore, you want to walk up here. Kind of follow this part, follow this part, follow this part. Then you can walk up here. And you're just gonna follow this place. And then around here, you want to jump down, so you're back at the path. From here, it's just about safe. Remember to never do any of these, like this one. Never do it at night, because at night you're definitely going to die to a ghost, to a pretty much anything that roams around here. 
and when you're around this field, just, you can go through the field, you can go around it. And when we have nearly arrived, yeah, we're back at the thing. We're at the second city of the Dutch Frontier, nearly. There we go. The town of Right and Wrong. You walk into the town of Right and Wrong. And all your boom mushrooms. Oh, hello, good sir. Nice to meet you. When you have all your boom mushrooms in your inventory, you can just go to the little Chelly and to sell all of you, all, everything you need you want to sell to him. So, uh, that's method one. Alright, now for the second money making method. This method can be used for beginners, it's very good for beginners, but also quite decent for mid game players. Now, you want to get yourself a pickaxe, if you, you probably have the wooden one already, but I do not, so let me just buy one from this sweet gentleman over here. Um, I'm going with Onyx, why not? It has, n by the way, it it doesn't really improve, you get nothing extra, it's just purely speed and flex. But it doesn't matter. Now, what you want to do is you line up somewhere to north. This is towards the Black Rock Mountain. You just want to start walking, start walking, keep walking until you eventually reach the mountain. And we've reached the mountain, not too far from Top of Town, luckily. And it is nighttime, that is definitely not ideal. But I'll manage. Okay. You want to come over here? Okay, that dude. Uh, I'll show you the dude in a minute. Hold on. This guy, you need to watch out for him. He's an absolute pain in the butt, and he pisses me off already. So I'm gonna go around. Because that, that's where we need to be anyway. We need to be on the other side. Just gonna walk around. Doesn't just take whatever route. Just make sure you're on the other side of the mountain until you reach just about this little ant hill thing. In this place there are many upon many emeralds that could spawn. Not always. No idea oh hello. No idea how many could spawn. Quite a few. But like Right here, there's one. You're stuck, right? Yeah, you're stuck. And you just wanna mine. Okay, that's one shot. That's very nice. Got one emerald. Hello. There are a lot of enemies here at night. So, do make sure to... Or watch out for them. Or just wait five minutes until it's daytime. I love those two. But like you see now, that I have zero. But, oh, there's another one. Emerald. There are no emeralds left. I, I have like mined all of them. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to you want to leave the game. Oh yeah, that's my background by the way. And go over to here. You want to scroll down. Again see all of these servers but these are quite full but it doesn't really matter I'm gonna join a random one let's take that one for example remember that you joined a specific one and we should join any second now there we go and here we are we're back at the same place now you're gonna Black bikes, hold on. Give me a second. Yeah, it's back. Uh, you're gonna look for emeralds again. And let me just. There's another emerald right there. Oh, and when you see a uh, enemy or something, like when you're clearly still a beginner, and it's coming closer, and it's you think you're not able to run away, just immediately. Press Alt F4. Yes, it's the meme key, but it it, it closes through Roblox, 
and it's not too big of a deal in Fetch Frontier, especially if you're just mining emeralds. And that was the only emerald. Normally there are quite a few more, but we're gonna do the exact same. All the four. I was in this one, now I'm gonna join that one. And it's always nice that public servers are extremely quick to load. And here we are again. Do you know that the speed of this uh, will the speed of which you can gain money definitely depends on your hardware and internet speed of course how quick you can join a server and how quick you can be fully loaded in all that stuff but there was another emerald oh another one very nice and I have been doing this for about how long is the recording five five minutes yeah and I have Five emeralds that should total up to 45,000. Wait, my math is bad. Yeah, my math is very bad. Hold on. That. Holy crap. Why, why am I not able. 30, 30, 60. I'm disappointed in myself. It's 85k. Holy balls. What, what went wrong? Something just did not work in my mind for a second. But there are 15,000 a piece, so I'll try and get a full inventory of that. And there are no emeralds left, so let's do another server. Ooh, I was in this one a minute ago, let's join that one. Just waiting for it to load, there we go, in Roblox. By the way, sorry for the flashbang right there. Shaders and stuff. And it's daytime again, that's nice. Three. Two, one, daytime. Uh, let's see, emeralds, emeralds. Please give me emeralds. It is possible to find quite few emeralds actually, because a lot of people have started to use this method again. Since, well, I don't, I don't know why they're using it. Because I've seen endgame players just mining emeralds for no reason. There are two emeralds next to each other. Let's watch around. There you go. Very simple. And those were all the emeralds. I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna go to the next method. One more server. go already back in the server look for emeralds not very lucky apparently none there none there and none here okay that's very unfortunate I got zero this one um, well too bad as for the third method this is by doing the fireflies. Getting fireflies is quite easy. You just need to find these little fellows and walk right through him. Then when you have 40 or 150 of these, you can deliver them to stick. Let me see if I can find stick so I can show them to you. Stick is always quite hidden in the in Topple Town or even in the town of Ride and Run, but most of the time it's in Topple Town. Let's see, let's see, where could he be? There's a spawn right there, he could spawn there, he could spawn there, he could spawn out there, and there is Mr. Stick. I made an entire lore video about him even. And if you have, well, I only have one, so it's not going to do anything. But if you have 20, you can get quite bad loot. 40 is decent loot. 75, it is, it is also decent loot, but for more, more uh, fireflies. And then you have 150. This is the best loot you can get from Stick. It's not the best loot in the game, not by far, but definitely very good mid game loot so this is I should all you should only use this in beginner game and not mid game on to the next method for the first method you need a crossbow and 
probably a friend as well to help you out. So what you want to get is uh, go go to this. Wait, let me show where he is. You're right in top of town, near this little waterfall, the fishing area, the mining area is right there. Just keep walking until you see this gun sign. Enter. You have this deer creature. Hunter Jack, and you bought not the pellet gun, although it's quite nice, it is not better than the crossbow so far as I'm concerned, so you want to buy a crossbow and I'm guessing like as, just as much as you can, so I'll just buy, I don't know, 300 now, it's probably gonna take 700 or so, it's not extremely expensive, it's quite doable, then you wanna... This is, this is only for beginner, I do have to know. Alright, with beginner I meant the crossbow. If you want a mid-game item, you need the... I would say the... Dark Toad Magic Book. You want to... Th this is gonna be killing the spider boss or even the magma boss. These are quite severe and big bosses for a beginner. But you need a friend, because you're not going to do enough damage, and you're going to absolutely cheese it. So you want to go for the spider boss to Black Rock Mountain. I've shown you in the emerald mining part how to get that. So I will show it again, of course. Just follow me here. I'm going to speed up the process a bit with the night. No, the, uh, Funky Drift Lander, of course. Alum got my uh, mind a bit messed up, of course, with an. He's always calling this thing the Nightmare Staff or something. And when you've reached around this bar part, you can just climb on this part, climb on there, climb here, and go over. Then you've reached this, the mouth of the head. And you're just gonna enter. Now, when you're inside, it is, if you do not have a parasol, it might be very difficult to reach because you need to be on that rock right there. This rock. And I will I try it? I don't think I will. Hold on. Um, definitely, if you don't have enough speed or jump power, you're not gonna make it. Absolutely not. So you will need a mushroom parasol or you can get a friend to lead the spider boss right over there. I, s I showed this in my video on how to carry another player. This is a very nice guide if you want to help your friend out. So for example I'm, I'm your friend and I'm just standing here to help you. And as a beginner you can just stand on the ground right there while the spider boss is focused on your friend. Of course, don't do this, what I'm doing. But if you do have parasol, you just want to stand on top of here and uh, start shooting. This is going to take a very long while. Like a very, very, very long while. I'm not sure if you can actually cancel. Can this thing oh, it can actually cancel. How little stamina does this thing take? Is it... What? I did not know the crossbow actually did quite a bit of damage. Okay, but you need need to do 30% of the damage. I've done far more than that, so I was not really paying attention, but when you've done about from there to around there to, of the damage, your friend can start blasting him with whatever rocket or whatever weapon he wants to, and then it's dead. You can go down. What you get is probably just this: a bag of gem, black rock mountain key. This is twenty-five thousand, and that one's uh, eight hundred. It's not worth much. But the special price, you can get the spider stilts. This is the one of the best boots in the entire game. Like. In my opinion, it is the very best, but some people like the clown shoes or the the um, red laser shoes more. But 
Spider steals are very overpowered. It gives 4 armor, 7 movement speed, 40 jump power. And it's just very nice to have. Now, we want to do the magma boss. For the magma boss from Topple Town, let me get to Topple Town first. It is best to get to the town of right and wrong instead. Like, we're in Topple Town right now. We're just gonna go over the pig. I love Mr. Pig. Walk over this edge thing. Along here. Along here. Talk to this guy. Don't worry about the night. Uh, I mean, kind of. And you want to. Let me turn it off. Want to go to the town of right and wrong. And then you can just jump down. I'm gonna act as if I don't have a parasol yet. Because this is one you can do. It actually gives you more money. But you don't get the spider stills, which you will need eventually. But you're just gonna follow through this field. Very casually. Watch out that there aren't any monsters nearby. That's the big tower. Okay, uh, you want to watch out for those guys. They're not too tanky. But this is supposed to be done with a friend. If you're in a beginner state. When you're mid-game, you can technically do this. When you have something like the like magic. Or a better gun. Like the pellet gun. No, not the pellet gun. The... Uh, oh gosh, what's the name? The pipe rifle, that's the one. And you just want to jump down. The pipe rifle can be uh, obtained from the slime quest. And when you found this little hole... Oh, hello, Miss Skull Ghost. I'm down here now. Okay, hopefully he doesn't follow us. Then you... St this is the magma boss. You see this red area right here? That, that border? It, when you cross this, you will start firing at you. So you want to be careful about that. And you just want to enter, jump to the right, keep running. Just keep running. Keep on running until you cannot run anymore. See that little hole right there? There's a tiny little hole that does not have this red part. Which means he does not attack you, but you can shoot him. Which is very, very helpful. You just want to Attack, action cancel perhaps, if you know how to do it. I'm shooting twice as fast now. And when I have that 30%, it should be uh, very easy. Do know that with beginner stamina, you will definitely, definitely not be able to action cancel until it's dead. Okay, this should be around... And I believe this is enough. Okay, now I am your friend again, and I'm gonna just gonna blast him with rockets because why not bellet gun is really no the the crossbow is really underrated actually does quite a lot of damage and this gives a lot of loot most of the time inferno hammer that is very lucky let me just pick everything up so i can actually show you how much it is worth inferno hammer dungeon kenny macro brain core dungeon kenny this is a very very valuable run this is one of the best runs you can get so do know you don't always get it and as you can see here there should be some onyx or is that onyx no it's titanium definitely there that's onyx ore you could mine it it's about i believe 3k same as the ruby and um there's another one i'm not sure if it, it I, I don't think it's titanium but it could be something like the, oh my good good lord could you not scare me that next time, Mr. Pumpkin? Okay, let's leave from the kind wizard. Take me out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the uh, town of right and wrong is east. So from here, you want to walk around, because you don't have a parasol, of course. Um, I am your friend again. I am defending you. And you just want to keep walking. Watch out for that guy. He's very annoying. Don't get close. You just want to keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. And there should be a little, yeah, a little way up. Another low key, like, grinding method is by just exploring the frontier. It is very nice to do that. Just, just walk around and 
see the art that has been created and all the beautiful things like the little flowers and whatever just collect them on your way so you get just just a bit of extra gold right it's not ne never bad to get some extra um, just want to continue through the field to the east by the way don't go through that there are quite some strong enemies right there that's definitely a just about mid game area early mid game of course but still mid game you can just keep walking and when you've reached little Chelly, you can the infernal hammer hammers itself for 25k then you get 30k and 40k so that's very helpful the emerald and the back of gems of course 25k and in my 10 minutes of recording i made I'm not sure I did not know but about I don't know 170k something about that so that was a very quick money-making method in the fifth money-making method you're gonna kill dragons this is done at the town of right and wrong you're gonna need a crossbow I showed you how to get this thing in method 4 now I know I also told you in method 4 that this is a mid game area but this can be done in beginner when you have a bit of skill or luck depends you just want to find your way over to a very nice spot where you can actually jump over this this is a nice spot you can jump over just jump and you're gonna want to make your way over all the way here yeah jump up jump up jump up and you're just gonna wait for a little dragon to show up most of the time if you have a parasol this can oh hello dragon if you have parasol it's very handy because you can just fly over and check for if there's a dragon or something and fly back but you can technically do this on your own or with friends I would if you have friends to play this with go for the fourth method and not this one this is mostly solo just want to start shooting do a quick action cancel I am not actually action cancelling this right Okay, I'm not able to actually catch him anymore. That's sad. I have lost the skill. But he, he's not gonna attack you when you're up here. You're just gonna shoot him. Just shoot him. And another very neat trick for when he is dead. Like he's dead right here. Just wait until he's fully despawned. You can actually, when you get close enough, you can pick it up from all the way up here. All the way up here. You can just pick it up. It's, or you can float right over it. Doesn't matter how high or how high above you are or how low under it you are it doesn't matter the way of the the parasol you're gonna realize that this thing is a necessity just like the jump boots I'll show you that I've not I have shown you I probably have shown you and you can just use the jump boots and the parasol just start flying around and there there are multiple of these block things you can just fly a circle around this entire area just stand on just continue let me eat a chicken so I do not die and there are no dragons at the moment and they do take a little while to despawn but for the low amount of health and the pretty good uh, money because this thing is worth 8,000 and it takes a few bullets to kill so that's not too big of an issue and just gonna wait until you have stamina so you can run and there are quite a few collectibles that you can find here as well so always look out for collectibles in whatever farming method you are doing you see a nice bird shoot it and collect its loot because you never know if you're actually gonna do oh hey another dragon if you're actually gonna do a itempedia this is an absolute endgame thing after you've collected whatever uh, armor you wanted to do you can go for Idopedias which is insane like the, these these things fill up them entirely oh that's wrong weapon yeah action cancel let's go I was focusing for a minute there we go, that should nearly be dead. There we go, he, he, he just pops dead. 
and I'll show you with the parasol how high you can grab it from. All the way up ahead, yeah, I can just grab it and fly back. Completely safe, no problems at all. Now if you want to get back, just make sure there are no dragons around. If you want to run, hey, collectibles, why not, let's grab them. Free collectible, right? Just go over to this area, you can jump over that without any speed or jump power, but you're not going to get on top of the things, uh, on top of the blocks, so you do need actual jump boots. Now, hello little Shelly, nice to meet you again. Let's see, 8k, 8k, that's 16k in, a, in like a few minutes. So pretty good farming method. For the seventh farming method, we have the other world tower. This thing is good for beginners, mid game, and even end game. Yes, also end game. You can find Link the Junkman. I'm not sure where he is at the moment. Maybe I is around here. He probably isn't. But it's this guy. And he can sell you floor 20 skips or floor 40 skips. When you have a friend, this is for beginners and mid game, it's most likely that you need a friend to get extra good profit. And for end game players, you can do the tower solo with ease. And that's pretty much it, because there are many guides on how to do this, and it will take me far too long to finish the entire tower. I might do another video separately on how to do that with endgame, because I'm not going to try it with midgame. I'm very honest, I cannot do that. I do not, I, I'm not very skilled in tower. So, just look at, just look up Frozen Mozzarella, he's a speedrunner, he can do this. Alright, now for the seventh money making method. This method is good for beginner and mid game. Now, this is by fishing, but there are only two very, very strict spots where you should fish for actual money. One of these is by fishing at the rabbit hole. The rabbit hole is not in one location, it can be found in many diff loca different locations. These are all the locations it can be found in. At the other location, is the forgotten is the hold on what is it the forgotten lake of course yes forgotten lake how are you gonna get that is or you can take the boat to the blue auger camp or you're just gonna fly strictly north yeah well not north east mostly north just wait, you're you're a beginner, you cannot fly, why do I forget that? And you you just jump down here. Just keep walking. Next to the tree, next to this tree, another tree. Mr. Bird, hi. Goodbye, Mr. Bird. Black feather, yes, that's the rarest loot ever. And now we're just gonna continue this way a little. It's not too far from top of town. Then we can go slightly over the mountain, I guess. Yeah, why not? Just continue over here. Then we should be pretty close already. Gonna continue here then to the left. Hopefully you don't find any angry Mr. Monsters. There's the ant hill with the emerald mining, also a very good method. If you're here, just check for some emeralds. It's an easy 15k if you find one. Then we continue to just just keep walking strictly north. And this is the forgotten lake pond-ish thing. It's not really a lake, is it? Ah, who cares? And let's start fishing. You just it's a it gives it. I believe it has some kind of glitched uh, pool of loot, but I'm not too sure about it. I've not done too much research about this pond, but it has quite a lot of profit. I think it is similar to the emerald. Now, emerald mining is better still. But it's pretty good. Then, because you can get overgrown dividers, the brown, uh, 
weird fish thing. Then we're gonna look for a rabbit hole, so let's do a little montage until I found it. Ah, I found it. I do have to know that you cannot, not, not stay there at night. Like, absolutely not. As a beginner or mid-game, no, it's a no-go. Because the monster that spawns are is really, really strong. And But I'll show you the inside. And my no-fog is gone. I forgot about that now. That's too bad. But if you fish here, you can get like a ton of treasure chests and the loot out of those are most of the time worth quite a bit or nothing it's, and it's very quick to get a new fish I, it's gonna turn in two minutes tonight so that's a bit of an issue oh right, look that's the virus I believe 9,000 already so that's very very quick Look, it's uh, two minutes left. Yep, I am uh, gonna die. Nah, I'll be fine. Let's see if I can get. Yeah, treasure chest. There we go. Uh, what do I get out of it? Oh, cool. It's three and a half k, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's method seven. All right. From the eighth money-making method and beyond, it is getting a bit more complicated because these are all in the quite difficult from mid game to end game area now one of these is still very easy and that is by doing gift fruits I'm not sure if he sells them but yeah he does the gift tree seed now he sells them for 2.1 million this is a very bad thing you only want to buy it when it, he sells it for 1.9 million if it goes anything over that don't buy it just don't. But if you do, only buy it when you can actually afford three or more. Otherwise, you run quite a high risk of losing a small part of your money. Which might sound scary, but when you have a lot of gift receipts, the chance is so incredibly low that you actually lose anything, it will definitely probably not happen. So you'll always make a profit, and by the way, the things you get from the big tree it takes 20, uh, 72 hours to grow the tree. When you get the tree, you get gift, uh, gift, uh, gift tree fruits, that's the one. Never open them, because they give pure rubbish. You walk right over to a uh, big box and you sell your stuff. Your, your seeds. They sell for 720,000 a piece. And from every tree you can get about 2 to 5. So if you do the math, there's quite a high chance to get profit. But also quite a chance to lose a, smart, a small part. So only by three, and that's uh, method eight. The ninth method is by killing Cricket. This is a monster in the theater, and it is not a very good method, but it has a very fast respawning time. I was made aware of this method quite a few, few. I'm not sure if it's years yet, but it's been quite a while since Frozen Mozzarella has made his video about this possible farming method. I'm not sure if I have my keys. I do. Okay, that's good. I wait. I t 
totally don't have my... I'm gonna take the long route around. I do not care. I'll just take the long route. But normally you'd go through there and you'd find it. But I'll show you. If you don't have the theater key, don't worry. You can still get that. We're gonna go up here. With the hidden key. There we go. We're in the... You know what? Why? You know what? Let's... <sighs> Alright, the game did not like me not having the theater key, so um, I guess I just went to get it this time. There we go, the theater key. That's the... For this method, you only need the mentioned key and the theater key. If you have these, you can do the method. I don't recommend the method too much, because it does... I mean, it's not the easiest method, but and it does not make the most money. But it's it's a method I want to include, and I feel like it definitely deserves to be in. All right, and don't glitch out this time. I know you like to do it, Vendas Frontier. You you good? You, you're all right. Yes, you're all right. There you go. This is the sweet little place. Hey, can you play a case bomb, please. Any time now. Yeah, there we go. Hello, good sir. Yeah. It just, it's just a matter of dodging his little balls and that funny little attack. Ow, oh, oh, I'm bad at dodging. Come on, do the attack, brother. Do it. I dare you. I dare you. Do the attack. Ow, ow. There we go, that's how you dodge it. I, I don't like this method. It's, I don't, I have not learned this mobs attacks. I am not good at... You're really bad at that beam, you know. You should learn from the rocket launcher. Stop. And goodbye. Well, that was a short fight. But you get a traveling flea, and perhaps even a lasting flower. And let's see how much that's worth. Uh, by the way, it does spawn very quickly. Let's see. How quickly are you gonna spawn again? Ooh, take it. Thank you. I'll take that anytime. Yeah, it's quite quick. Ow. Can you beat me again and I will do something? Okay, you're gonna regret it. One day. Don't have time right now. Let's run all the way back to Topple Town. Hello, Mr. Stone Red Boy. You're not the official Stone Red Boy, but it's fine. Did I run past it? I went the wrong way. That's awesome. So lovely to get disorganized in the Grand Hall. And we go up here. Watch out for the Mr. Boomer right there. Uh, Spiker. Same thing. There we go, back in the deli. A little twist. And... Sobble time. A big box. Let's see how much it makes. Um, okay, uh, I need to look at the wiki real quick so I can make sure if I can tell you if it's really good or really bad. Then we have the mob called... It's called Cricket, I believe, right? Yeah, the Cricket. I, I don't know why the search result went wrong. There we go. Cricket. It has a... How high a chance? Alright, the Lasting Flower was a 5% chance. So on average you get 30k per kill. You can also get Perplexed Shaman, which is worthless. Emperor Escape, which is quite a right. Mask Hat, which is quite rare. Uh, for yeah, okay. Uh, it is a decent money-making method. It's not good because the skill and armor it requires can be used for lost in circus, which I'll get into right away. All right, now one of the best money-making methods is by doing the lost. This the lost boss is currently extremely glitchy and can 
literally break an entire Flash Frontier server and also sadly it exploits are currently fully uh, taking over the lost so that's a bit of an issue but it's still good even if you're a completely legit player and you can handle the lag sometimes now you just want to make your way back to the grand hall okay this place has given me so many traumas man it's not alright now let it's gonna you're gonna TP me into randomness? No? Okay. Now pass the rat on the left uh, in the middle on the bottom one. You need the hidden key. You can get the hidden key from Demokin. Although some might say Demokin is a really great money making method. I strongly argue against that since the Demokin is so far away from the place where you normally are that it will take so long to get there the loot is not that good like it's good it's probably quite a bit better than a cricket but it's not worth it not worth the journey not worth the risk of dying along that journey now this one you just wanna enter and hello mister mister guy I do, oh, I do not have a oh. well I made a guide on how to do this one, I believe. Did I? Yeah, I do. I definitely did a few times, actually. I made a guide in this video, 100%, and if I made another one, uh, I also did it in this video. I, I did, right? I must, but you just want to stand on this ledge, little ledge and hope he doesn't spot, uh, doesn't like uh, teleport. You can also use one of the ultra daggers. There are three ultra daggers. Uh, and you can go through that invisible wall. Actually, also on the other side, but I mean, this one's just nicer for some reason. Oh, I do not like that. Can you not send that close? We have to do that. That's dangerous. Yeah, that's dangerous. Nah, uh, you know what? Let's just do it in a fun way. Why camp? Oh yeah, Lost really does not, does not like the rockets. You don't like the rockets, do you? Huh? Come on, buddy. What's wrong? Scared of rockets? You're doing fine, Mr. Lost. Don't be, sh don't be afraid. Okay, do not do the ow. I'm so glad I have a lot of chicken. How much chicken do I have? Forty. Huh. Please die soon, quick. Now, do I recommend Lost? Uh, partially. I'm not entirely sure, since the Lost has very mixed loot. It has extremely overpowered loot, and most of, but most of the time it's like trash like that. This is 50k for an end boss. I and it takes a while to fight. And aside, you cannot do this together because most likely the second run, the entire server will have crashed, and you'll never do lost fluidly again because you're constantly spawned in the deli. And hopefully, I am safe. Yeah, I'm safe because I did a solo. Now I'm immediately gonna continue to circus. This is method 10. This is by far, and I tell you by far, the funnest method because you can have friends. You can play with friends and just meme around it's when you, when you are a oh by the way lost is for end mid game and end game oh, this is not the right place you want to go to that red door with golden change and this is also for end mid game and the entirety of end game because for mid game you most likely will get like uh, carried or just whatever right like this doing this solo does require quite a bit of skill unless you have you no know, rocket launcher then it's just pure ease and uh, I've also created a video on how to do this but I'm just gonna do it again because why not I feel like you should know this is a range I'm doing this with ranged so I mean you might want to look out for when I or frozen are gonna do a mage and a range guide to circus or I'm not entirely sure if it's gonna happen but most likely is 
And we're just gonna shoot the little red boy. Let's try and wake him up. This is a very interesting way of waking someone up, but you know, I'm not complaining, right? Do your thing, do your thing. And he's gone, okay. Hello, uh, guys. Please do not harass me like that. Okay. Nearly dead, you're dead. And you should be dead anytime soon, yeah, there we go. I don't need to press Q, this is not the end. Um, respawn. Yep, there we go. You wanna stand from there, that's where you spawn. You stand right there, that's a good place. In between here, go in first person, push yourself a little bit against the wall. Be careful that you don't stand in that block, because that's gonna absolutely kill you. You're just gonna wait. Stand right in front of this thing. And uh, it should. Okay, it's doing a little wave thing, and whoop! Right on time, and right on time again. That's how it's pretty much done. And it's gonna go back again, then it's whooshes away, goes back. Very simple. I uh, really, really like this minigame. It's uh, very interesting. I can tell that they have spent a ton, ton of time on it. Like, this takes effort. And there we go, Rapway's back. Hopefully we can get it to 10%. In my other guide, I actually showed you the next room in case you don't do enough damage. If you want to know how that's done, go to that tutorial, because I really, really don't want to do that right now. Since it is simply just very agonizing to do and annoying. And most of the times you have circus skips. These allow you to skip instantly to the end of circus. Now I'm just gonna bait it, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bait it. Fine. I don't like baiting, but I mean I can do it technically. Let's do a little action cancel. Start popping some more. Cancels on, and that little thing down there is gonna mess some stuff up for me probably. And this is. Pretty doable. Yeah, it's kind of a shame you can just stand on the back of it. But, I mean, it's it's not bad, because it can lead to some funny, funny uh, interactions. Oh, what are you doing this time? Yeah, alright, do your, do your funny beam, do what you want. Oh, he's doing a uh, spin. Why is he constantly spinning? Can you, can you stop spinning? Making me dizzy. And he is getting quite close to being dead already. Do note that I'm doing a lot of damage with this gun. This gun is very strong. And it will probably take you a lot longer if you're some, uh, someone like with magic or uh, a worse range setup. There we go. And we have defeated the beast. The beast is now gone. Hello. By the way, you can skip cutscenes with Q. You can just walk around for fun. Yeah, there we go. And... There we go, that's me flying. Right there. Yo. There we go, Red Boy has killed him. And I can still see Red Boy because of shaders. There we go, I fixed the problem. Shaders off. Yep, and Red Boy's back. Hello, Red Boy. There we go, I got, like, not too good. I guess I got that, that, and I believe that, and I'm not sure, I didn't pay attention, but, uh, yeah, those were pretty much all of the money-making methods I could think of, and if you find any other money-making method that fits you right, then please use that money-making method, if that's fun to you, this is not a you-must-do-this uh, guide, Play this game however you want to. This game is very important that, that it's played how you want to. And that's obvious of course, but I just want to show you the things that seem interesting, that seem fun, that seem other, different. And these are the very, very top notch, top best kind of guides. No, no, I said that wrong, definitely wrong. I, uh, these are the best money making methods in my mind. And oh and by the way, circus is very fun 
with friends or with guides. And I do quite some circuit runs sometimes as well. So if you ever need someone to run with, just join the Fantastic Frontier Order of the Frontier server. Like, come on. I've said this 200 times already. It is a chill place for everyone to hang out, for everyone to just chill around. And you can do runs together, you can play together, you can fish together, you can... Every th if you sometimes feel like you're a bit... I don't know, playing alone, and you're like, I want to interact with the, the different, with the other community, with the chill people of the community, just chill out, with chill rules, with not too strict rules, luckily, and that's the place. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and want to see more of my content, make sure to subscribe. And these are the people who have boosted the Order of the Frontier server. The link's in the description. This is the best way to support me and the community. If you have anything on your mind, make sure to write it in the comments. My feed gives them to me from any video, no matter the upload date. I wish you all the best, and don't get killed.